you know, we were just talking about September. It's weird how that happens. I'll just, the weather just jumps right. in. <laughs> I didn't even get a chance to Me get neither. ready. I guess we I were we like, have whiplash, right? Yeah. Beggars can't be choosy. Or was we the were, rain the transition period? Right. It's like we heat. had that, that we hot week that was just one of the record hottest <laughs> weeks. And then just bam, yeah, that's what happened. Um, but yeah, like you mentioned, Lexus, we're, we're in fall and temperatures are reflecting that. And we're also still in hurricane season, which is what we're also paying attention to outside of just the cold from that we're expecting today. 60% medium chance of development that we're watching in the Gulf, a little bit south of us, as well as a low chance of development 30% to the east of that. Once again, we're both tracking these systems with the system that has a 60% chance of development that wave. That's what we're really watching to bring us more of that tropical moisture and more humidity after our cold front as we head into this new week. Once again, 60% chance, something that we're going to continue to monitor over the next few days. But regardless of what that turns into, moisture is still going to be on the way outside of that cold front that we'll see arriving this evening pre-dawn into tomorrow. We see a stationary front also associated with that. That's going to also help to clean more of that moisture into it and bring that back into the coastal bend as we see rain really increasing for us as we head into the new week, Monday, Tuesday and Wednesday. Going to continue to monitor to see if any weather impact or alert days will be issued for that. Monitoring that very closely and that's going to really determine on where this low pressure goes. Now if it sticks up a little bit further closer to Houston and that will mean more of that rain sticks for the Houston. Either way, we're still expecting some kind of rain, not as much as what we saw last week, but rain is still on the board for us into this new week. More so as we head into midweek this weekend, things are going to be dry, nice, mostly sunny and cool with that cold front on the way as we watch that. Winds will also be increasing ahead of that, really seeing the start the morning. You already noticing breezing conditions. I already know um, here in the studio, we already heard some, some stronger winds to start the morning around the mid 20s as you're getting your morning started into the afternoon. We see gusts getting closer to about 30, 32 along the coast. So it's going to be breezy. It's going to be sunny. It's going to be nice for us today. We'll see sustained winds out of the north northeast up to about 20, 25 miles per hour. And, and of course, that's associated with that cold front. North winds will stick around pretty much throughout the entire week, even tomorrow as well as we head into our afternoon. Not as high as of gusts, but still about 25 miles per hour for your Sunday morning. With these winds, we also see some increased risk and some warnings that you need to be mindful of on the water. There is a high recurrent risk for us today. We'll see those waves around five to seven feet and even those periods getting close up to about eight seconds at a time. So definitely want to be mindful of the hazardous conditions out there, along with some warnings issued by the National Weather Service, small craft advisory, as well as a gale warning on the water here for us. So some things to keep in mind and it will have some nice conditions sunny skies but want to definitely be mindful of the hazards out there if you are heading to the beach today. Besides that, temperatures are going to be nice with this front moving in 69 tomorrow morning. That's the big story for me this weekend. That could be our first 60 that we've seen since before summertime. So something to to keep a close eye on. Like